This is the easiest nutrition video you're ever gonna watch, guaranteed. I'll just start with the entire solution right now. Lee Weiland, Pacific Rim Athletics and creator of Powerbatics, and welcome to training. Ready? Eat whole, real, colorful foods. Drink water. Use any supplements that you're deficient in, if any, and get a blood test to know for certain. Now I'll explain. Obviously, whole, real foods are the best. They're specifically designed for our bodies, and our body is designed for naturally growing, earth-yielding food. We lost a lot through the industrialization of food, so supplements might be necessary from time to time. A deficiency in just one vitamin could actually lead to a medical diagnosis doctors want to treat with a pharmaceutical pill when a vitamin megadose or correct foods could solve the root cause. But colorful? Yes, and I don't mean Skittles. Food is designed just like you are, beautifully. I want you to imagine something. Imagine all of the following on a paper plate. Mashed potatoes, french fries, white rice, corn, chicken nuggets, and vanilla pudding for dessert. What does that look like? Well, never mind. Don't write that in the comments, it might be gross. I actually remember seeing a meal like that one time. I don't remember when or where, but to this artist it looked bland as crap. We are visual creations. We see color, texture, form, and all the other elements and principles of design. Likewise, food is designed. I'm sure you've seen a gourmet meal at a Michelin restaurant. They not only taste, but also look exquisite. And it's not just how the meal is prepared. It's also the point blank fact that ingredients are the freshest. Any high caliber chef will tell you that. And the fresher, the more colorful, the more vibrant, the more life. Unfortunately, there have been epochs of history that brought the destruction of many things in society, culture, and health, including food. Food is magical. It literally comes from a dot, a speck, a seed that you put into the ground, which grows to maturity and yields this energetic organism that powers your body. If you eat animals, like the Bible allows in the present state of affairs, they are produced the exact same way, a magical seed that yields a new organism. It didn't take an industrial revolution to produce food. It simply took the third, fourth, and fifth days. It is naturally cultivated, and some of the most primitive people have the best food, demonstrated by the whitest, healthiest teeth, the strongest bodies, the happiest lives. So now, instead of imagining the bland, colorless, white paper plate of processed food, imagine a bowl of berries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, an analogous color scheme, golden virgin oil from the tree of olives, a plate of baby spinach, pecans, red onions, the ripest strawberries, a complementary color scheme of pinks, reds, and greens, crystal clear water from a glacier, pure orange mango straight from the tree. Imagine eating like that, not on special occasions or at a fancy restaurant, but on a daily basis. Those micronutrients stacking up daily, monthly, yearly. You see? You are probably collecting hints of imagined scents and even tastes, well beyond that of carbonated liquids of coalesced sugars and chemicals or manufactured meat squashed into shapes. Now, think about a garden that cultivates both types of foods. One garden is full of mashed potatoes, chicken nuggets, french fries, corn, and hot dogs. Is that a garden you'd want to keep? The other garden is full of shrubs, bushes, and trees, growing all sorts of species of elegant color juxtapositions, shapes, and textures. And when one is plucked and broken, a whole new series of colors stream forth. The garden is not wild, but orderly established, trained, just like the body weight strength of powerbatics training that we do. Your body giving you feedback for what you need. If you would remove the impurities and listen, designed with intuition that can help you navigate to precisely what is required for thriving. So you walk through the garden of rows of plants and columns of harvest, or the aisles of a store or outdoor market, thinking but not overthinking, enjoying, eating, living. And where you might need help, you have wizards in this realm that can guide you down the correct path. But it ultimately isn't difficult. You've just been fed a crock pot full of shite since you were a child. And so there might be blind spots you don't see. You may be overtraining or undertraining or needing certain extra foods and or supplements that you didn't even know about. For that, check your life and your life is in your blood. It's magical, it's complicated, but also so simple. Just like body weight strength, when the right pieces come together, then you're running, jumping, climbing, and enjoying freedom of movement. 
but it all starts with whole, real, colorful foods. Use any sequence of meals you feel best with. Six a day, three a day, one a day. Use intermittent fasting or fast one day of the week if you'd like a hard reset. Use balance. Don't play unjust weights and measures with your food. Fistful amount of protein, fistful amount of carbs. Fats will come naturally given whole, real foods. So will the fiber, the micronutrients, the things you need. Do this for 30 days and tell me what happens. Need help with nutrition or getting to advanced levels of strength, flexibility, and movement? Let us know. See you in the next video or hopefully in training soon.